Faz a bar? All right, good, good, good. Try it and come back. Penta, how are you doing? Come forward, look, look. Easy man. That's the man who's all this time for people. Go, go. Well, Blue Boys, Blue Boys is the Capability King. Blue Boys is a, is a non-profit organization based in Barakwa where all of the proceeds go for children development and development of the, uh, and upliftment of the community. In fact, I would like to share that all of the workers here are volunteer workers. They leave their income stream, their private income stream, their job, their garden, whatever, to come here to contribute, to do this act of sewa and selfless service for nine days. And you know that there's no easy, the heat is on. Three big furnaces operating in the back there. You can feel the heat right here. Yeah? And it, it's pumping. Right? Hot pepper roti coming out. Very fresh, very tasty. Because our farmers group provide all of the ingredients. We don't use any um any type of preservative, anything at all. Diwali this year, Nagar here beginning was a little grim for various reasons, possibly the flood, possibly the rainfall or so, maybe the economy on a whole. But um, we are hoping that by tonight things pick up a bit. You know, this is last night, <laughs> right? Nonetheless, we have, I mean, a substantial amount of loyal customers that come here. Yeah, you can go with that. And here, here is Krishna Sirju, one of our regular customers. We know them by name, they know us by name, because of how... You heard it, you heard it for yourself. The testimony is from the, from the, from the patrons. <laughs> Since the beginning of Naga, it has over 30 years now. Yeah, in fact, Bluebirds is the first to make pepper roti, take it out of the matico setting and make it a commercial item. In fact, at one point in time, I was hoping that the Ministry of Tourism would capitalize on this commercialization that we have brought it to and make pepper roti an international product. Because now if you look, every boot has pepper roti, every street corner has pepper roti and it's wrapped up really, really nicely. Yeah, these are some of our senior members here who brought it into the fold and gave it to us. The process person is here, he could tell you the different phases. And um, this is Uncle G, Prabhudat Ramnanan, a, a foundation member together with the others that you see here, Mahadev. This is G, better known, Prabhudat, better known as G. And what you are seeing here, or what I'm going to show you through, is the finishing of this. This has started way back in first by preparing. So we come very early and we start by kneading up with flour and in the mixing, well I don't like to say mix, mix is uh, knead is the correct too. When we knead our flour, we knead those flowers to soak a little bit so that it can stretch and you can get so that it won't burst anything. So you, you, you knead your flour, you, you give it in a term by tying it. Tying is a means of uh, of rolling your, 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 your flour, rolling your loaf with a little butter and thing. I think I might be selling some of my <laughs> thing there. And, um, so that even if you get an end, you have some flavor, some taste to go with. Uh, I, I wish in any case you would have end, right? You can't have a roti without an end, right? <laughs> Otherwise I end with roti. <laughs> and, um, And that first hour. And then when you're ready with the next from that hour you transfer it with one turn to the next hour. So by the time it reaches the third hour, which is going to be the end stage, it's up on the table of cut. So so you can't say you're lapsing anywhere in the middle lane, otherwise somewhere you, you, you go for long because start from here, from your mix and your roti, up in the first hour, then the second hour with an extra, and then sometimes probably you make two there. Right, so you have to have a bit of skill. Right, we have quite a number of students from university who still see it fit to come and participate in this event. Swami Prakash Ananda is a, a long-time member of Blue Bulls. So Blue Bulls has produced some great 
individuals who make a difference in the world today. So Vindra Ramkran, um, member of Fluid Sports and Cultural Organization for the past 12 years. Everybody is um, basically volunteers, everybody is volunteer time, effort, everything. All the income that come to here goes towards um, the community complex. The Blue World Sports and Cultural Organization have a, a building. Um, we call it the community complex where a lot of activities take place. Um, everything, every single income from here goes towards that facility to make that facility a better place for the organization and for the people around here. They have handed us not just pepperoni, I was explaining before he came. The very act of being involved in this booth for nine days is an act of sewa, what is selfless service, to give up all that you are doing to come and do this for the better good of all because the proceeds go towards the development of children in the area and all of the activities that we run, like we've been running, a, a having a, a yagna for the past 35 years. We have a workshop that has just been completed, a Ramlila workshop, together with Ramlila itself. We have, just, we have a Sunday morning Baal Vihar class, which we affiliate with Chinmaya Mission, and we deliver that. And that does the building of children inside out then, the values and morals that one is expected to operate and to be in, in because I, I'll, I'll share something with you, it's a bigger picture. The society is in a state of decadence, there's no question of that. And why should we buy more police jeeps and more patrol boats and all of that? Those are topical solutions. They're probably needed for the immediate symptom. But the root cause and the reason why all of this is happening is not being tackled. Because to create inspired leaders for a nation to transform, the individuals must be transformed. And we have many, many activities, including camps and yachts and all of that, that builds individuals with that type of moral and ethical fabric that is required to really become an inspired leader and take a nation forward.